In his first full day on the job, Barack Obama imposed new limits on lobbying and shifted government secrecy rules toward public disclosure. Transparency and the rule of law will be the touchstones of this presidency. He also watched as top White House staffers were sworn in, then told them, sorry, your pay is frozen. During this period of economic emergency, families are tightening their belts, and so should Washington. And he got his first look at the office that's now his. Aides say alone in that office, he read the note his predecessor left him in a desk drawer, in an envelope reading 244 from 43. There also were private meetings to attend on top agenda items, like getting Congress to pass an economic rescue package and how to start bringing combat troops home from Iraq. Obama even phoned the leaders of Israel and the Palestinians to discuss the Gaza conflict. He told aides the emotions unleashed by his swearing in make this an extraordinary moment and one to be seized. You know, these kinds of moments come around just every so often. Uh, the American people are really counting on us now. Meantime, the administration started circulating a draft order on Guantanamo Bay, aiming to close the terror detention center within a year. That Guantanamo order, which raises questions of where the inmates will go, is typical of what the new president now faces, a host of fiendishly complex issues on which he's made very specific campaign promises. Now he's finding out just how hard it'll be to deliver. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.